A horde of leeches approaching you in the forest might not be the most welcome sight. That is, unless you're a conservation biologist. See, these little vampires carry something invaluable to these scientists. Blood. And not just any blood. The blood of many different animals. It's important for conservation biologists to know which creatures live in an ecosystem, so they conduct biodiversity surveys to get as accurate a wildlife census as possible. But unlike a human census, scientists don't have as simple a method as posting at forums. Some survey methods are expensive, some are invasive, and others are downright impractical. But with a belly full of blood, leeches might just be able to survey the ecosystem for us. Now, these aren't the typical leeches that live in ponds that you might be picturing. There are actually terrestrial leeches, too. They live in humid tropical climates and also enjoy a tasty blood meal, which can remain in the leech's system for months. And in 2012, a study was published showing that leech blood meals can be used to identify wildlife. This works because leeches store their blood meals in their systems for a long time, and scientists can extract the DNA from the blood cells and identify it through a polymerase chain reaction test, or PCR for short. PCR works by recreating the process of DNA replication in a test tube. You might have heard of it before in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's the same test. Scientists mix a DNA sample with some enzymes that act like photocopiers of DNA and molecules that tell those photocopiers exactly what genes to copy. Several rounds of this replication result in many copies of that specific gene, enough to be easily detected by a machine or other lab tests. This can help scientists look for the DNA of specific animals. For instance, if a scientist wanted to check if a tube of blood came from a goat, they can mix it with molecules that will only copy goat-specific genes and run a PCR. If there's any goat DNA in the blood, PCR will make it obvious. Long story short, this means that the leeches can act as squirming tubes of DNA samples with generous expiration dates. And this got conservation biologists excited. When researchers want to study an ecosystem's biodiversity, they need to survey the creatures somehow. That can be done by capturing the animals, but being caught and poked at by scientists can be stressful. Researchers can also observe animals that wander by trail cams or collect samples that they leave behind, like feathers, hair, or dung. These methods are much less invasive, but some animals are fickle and elusive, so scientists may never see hide nor hair of them. So, these researchers thought, if leeches have a varied diet, they could be a welcome alternative to catching animals or hunting down their poop. And one study published in 2018 by Michael Tesler and colleagues looked into the bellies of leeches in Bangladesh, China, and Cambodia to see what was there. Turns out, it was a lot of different kinds of blood. Genetic analyses of the blood meals revealed DNA from 29 different species, including bats and birds. That's a pretty convincing argument for inviting leeches into your lab. One of the scientists involved in the 2018 study, Sarah Weiskopf, found its results very promising and was curious how leech meals held up to other, more traditional survey methods, specifically trail camps. Trail cams, or camera traps, are the go-to for tracking wildlife in tropical rainforests, but they're expensive and take forever to do their job. So, she led another study, also published in 2018, that pitted leeches against cameras in the forests of Bangladesh, and the results were complicated. The cameras found 14 more species than the leeches had, but the leeches found species that the trail cam had missed. Also, the leeches were collected over four days compared to the nine months that the cameras ran, and the leeches were over $20,000 cheaper. So, collecting leeches isn't the perfect wildlife survey method to end all methods, but it's pretty darn good. And in the world of science, there's often no single method alone that can perfectly answer the questions that researchers aim to address. Our best bet is an arsenal of procedures that are pretty darn good. And while they might not be able to hold a test tube or fit into a lab coat, leeches might just earn a spot on the conservation biologist's lab bench. <laughs> <laughs>